This episode brought to you by healthwithdronetech.com. Ageless Multi Collagen provides you with the five types of collagen your body needs and one complete protein. As an added bonus, Ageless Multi Collagen is non GMO and there's zero artificial flavors, colors, preservatives, sweeteners, gluten, or antibiotics. Get Ageless Multi Collagen for 51% off plus free shipping by going to www.healthwithdronetech.com or by clicking the link in the video description box below. Hey everyone, uh, got another car rant video for you here. Uh, woke up this morning and saw what we all knew was coming, that uh, Parler has now been shut down because Amazon has decided that they're not going to host the servers anymore. And, uh, you know, I hate to say I told you so, but I told people, I mean, going back years now, that that is what was going to happen. That no matter what happened, uh, you know, as long as we keep retreating to these other platforms, which is the only choice we have, that they'll just find a way to shut down those platforms for good. And, I mean, that's what's happening right now. And uh, this is something that's been in the works for a long time. I mean, they're blaming Trump, but, folks, they've been trying to do something like this, trying to get this to happen uh, for a long time. Everything we don't want to hear is now hate speech and violence, and they're using that as a pretext to not just censor people. We've gone beyond just censoring people, and now they're just flat out shutting down uh, whole platforms and not allowing 75 million Americans to have a voice. For the last few years, uh, as the pla tech platforms have been censoring us, all I remember hearing is, oh, get your own platforms then. Just make your own platforms. This is just capitalism, folks. If, uh, if these uh, capitalist companies don't want you on their platforms, then you don't have a right to be there, and then you can just go make your own. So what did, what did we do? Not me personally, but what did conservatives and the right do? We went out, and, and, I don't, and not just the right, but... Anybody who uh, wants to be critical of the media or Democrats, okay? Anybody who wants to do that, which is not just Republicans and conservatives or right-wingers. Those people went out, they made their own platforms, and now what are they doing? Now they're taking the, the ability for that as well. And it's insidious, not just because they found an end around, uh, a way around the Constitution and around the First Amendment, they found a way around that, but they've also found a way to get rid of their business competition, I mean, that's why do you think CNN is out there really pushing for AT&T to drop, you know, Fox News, OAN and Newsmax uh, from Comcast? They're out there doing that, not just because it'll take out a very vocal critic of not just the media, but of the Democrat Party, but it'll take out their business competition. Fox News has dominated these other networks for years now, for decades and now they have an opportunity to finally shut them down for good. What's even more scary is the fact that there's a lot of Americans, a lot, millions and millions and millions, half this country, a good portion of that, that don't realize what's going on. You know, the average American who doesn't really know what's going on might say to you, well, why don't you just go out and protest? You still have your voice. You can still get out there and make your voice be heard. Well, they don't understand that while we have no ability to communicate and organize or any of that, for one, the other side has all of that ability. They can still organize. They still have their voices heard and spread throughout all those other platforms. And while we can go out there and protest, they still have the media. They still have the ability to uh, completely skew what our message is, to completely misrepresent us, and to demonize us, which is what they've been doing for the last couple decades. All they hear is, all they've heard for the last four years and for you know, decades before that is that Democrats are good and Republicans are bad. And the level of demonization has just uh, skyrocketed. I mean, it was bad. They were already calling us racist, bigots and homophobes and all that stuff. But they went from that to, to calling us Nazis and uh, mainstream media calling us an existential threat. I told people then, I said, man, they're calling us an existential threat now. That when, when, when you talk about the left and, and the fact, or I talk about a lot, that they rationalize a lot. And I, I think that's why they're most dangerous because, you know, if you can rationalize anything, then, you know, there's no limit to what they can do. In the case of Parler, they're saying, oh, well, the, uh, the siege on the Capitol was organized on Parler. Okay, well, even if that's true, even if that's true, uh, what about the siege on the White House back in June? Where was that organized? Almost certainly Facebook and Twitter. Oh, but the media never reported on that. And in fact, the story at the time, if you remember, is that the National Guard used tear gas on the mob. Where has all that been organized? It's been organized on Facebook and Twitter. And yet, because the media never reports on that, half the country doesn't even know about it. 
More than that, more than half the country doesn't even know about it. And so again, they get a very lopsided picture of what's going on here. You get this one event from uh, right-leaning, right-wing Trump supporters, one event that's used to wipe out the ability for 75 million people in this country or more to have a voice. I mean, go back and look at when Kavanaugh was being confirmed. Look at what happened then. You had these mobs of Democrats mob the Capitol. But what did the media do in that case? They applauded it. This is democracy in action, folks. These are live images, folks, at the doors of the Supreme Court, where you can see protesters have gathered. They are demanding that their voices be heard. When you look at these pictures, having covered the Supreme Court for so long, have you ever seen anything like this? Well, I'll tell you this, you're usually not allowed on those stairs. You're not allowed up there. We did see the night he was nominated, there was a peaceful uh, protest where people were allowed to stand and uh, sit on those stairs, but we haven't seen anything like this. And My point of order, Mr. Chairman, is simply this. As we've seen loud protests against Kavanaugh were held in and around the U.S. Capitol building today, dozens were arrested after breaking through barriers in front of the Capitol. Yet you got uh, the GOP baseball game shooting from a Democrat Bernie supporter. He almost wiped out half of the GOP Senate. Uh, that guy was a big poster on Facebook. Uh, why is Facebook not being taken down? They, that's where the attack on the GOP baseball game was planned. And in regards to the riots and the violence that we've seen for the last six months from the left, where did a lot of that kick off at? A lot of it kicked off with Michael Brown and hands up, don't shoot, if you remember, which we now know was a lie. It wasn't true. Yet CNN and all the major media networks, Facebook, Twitter, all these things were hubs for the spreading of that conspiracy theory that led to violence, death, and destruction that is still going on to this day. And then you have CNN that literally incited attacks on ICE facilities and attacks on Trump supporters. They promoted violence on their shows against Trump supporters. And then you got guys like Chris Cuomo coming on and saying, hey, uh, don't sit here and blame uh, protesters on the left for getting violent because guess what? Protests are supposed to be violent. They're not supposed to be polite. Oh, but guess what? Their standards don't apply to them. Their standards are merely a means of subjugating their political oppos opposition. That's it. Their standards, are, they're never held to their standards. If they were, all of these other, uh, uh, Facebook, Twitter would all be shut down now. All the companies that host their servers would just, uh, you know, shut them down. What do we do? I don't know. I think we have to have mass peaceful protest, especially if they're talking about making uh, uh, it illegal for us to protest. We have to go out there. We have to protest peacefully. Uh, if they arrest us, we got to let them arrest us. And we have to do it in large numbers. I honestly don't know what the other options are because the other platforms are just being picked off one by one. We have them right now, but for how long? I'm not sure what's going to happen. Uh, I do want everyone to try and stay positive. I'm trying to stay positive. It's really hard to do. It's really hard to see how we can get out of this at this point. But there, I think there is hope. I think that what the left is doing right now and the Democrats is overstepping. I, I, I think that they're going to way overstepped and change the minds of a lot of independents and even some Democrats. I'll tell you right now, right now that I know of some serious Trump haters, people that hated Trump, that see that are Democrats, that see what's going on now. And I won't say it red pilled them, but they're like, wow, wow. This is actually happening. And everyone, if you need anything, I want you to use my sponsors because those sponsors come through for this channel and channels like mine, despite all the blowback, despite all the risk in doing so. And I want them to keep doing that I, because they're going to start getting more flack than they have in the past. So we need to support the sponsors that support us. Anyway, folks, I think that's all I have to rant about on that right now. Uh, I definitely will have more videos coming out this week. Um, so keep checking on that. Make sure to check for all those links I was talking about in the description and pinned comment, and I'll see you all next time.